All right. I've always wondered how these worked. Um, uh, obviously, there's probably an easy explanation as to how they actually work, but um, it's a crank flashlight. And you can crank it to uh, charge up the internal battery there. But I want to see how they work. Um, this one has three LEDs on there. It has the option of uh, having just one LED on or all three at the same time based on the button clicks up here. Uh, I haven't been able to get this one to keep it charged, so I figured I'd uh, open it up and see if I can't destroy it or take it apart, I guess you want to call it. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and rip her open here. Looks like just four screws in there. I need another tool here. Hold on. All right, use one tool or another tool, huh? There we go. Get started. One screw. Find it there. There it is. Screw number two. I'm gonna make this a quick video here because going out to eat here in a little while. I figured I'd just show you guys something interesting. Third screw. Alright. Pop this one off here too. I think these flashlights are a really good idea for, uh, you know, when the power goes out or if you don't want to keep rechargeable batteries around. But you do have to keep cranking them, I guess, every three months, I think is what it is, it says. So, it's kind of a pain. You can't just let it sit. Alright. So if there's anything else in here that needs to come out. Doesn't look like it. The feeling the crank needs to come off here. Let's figure that out. Just one second here. Alright, so ripped a piece off here. I think I'm gonna grab the other one off the other side of here. Whoop, and there we go. Alright. Some excess parts there. Alright. So it looks like here's a switch here. Three-way switch. Um, this must be the motor using for uh, for a generator the LEDs and that looks like the battery this is an extremely small battery interesting I would have assumed it would be a little bit bigger than that it looks like uh, the gears take up most of the inside there if you can see those Let's see what it looks like when you crank it here kinda wobbly Oop, fell apart <laughs> alright well let's keep digging into it here huh Ooh, look at that grease there, holy cow. Wow. So that's the inside there. So the crank here has quite a few gears on there. It's like one, two, three, four. Four gears plus the drive. Um, so when you spin this, basically you're getting a pretty decent spin on that last one over here it keeps falling off on this gear over here you're getting a high spin out of that as you can see that gears keep coming off here but just by cranking it just a little bit you're getting that last gear to spin a whole bunch which makes it very efficient uh, oops sorry it's like a it's like a transmission really oh, that's a lot of grease wow I keep the sound down. So yeah, and then you get the circuitry there. You got a couple capacitors and some resistors. Um, you get a diode there. Very interesting. So as you can see, they're pretty basic. They have small batteries in them. Let me see if I can't read the uh, size of the battery here. Can't really read it. Flip it around here, and maybe you can see it better. Looks like a LIR2032 lithium ion battery. It's 
sweet. So here's a little bit of a close-up for you. You can see the little chipboard here. There's the motor, or the generator if you want to call it that. So I'm guessing there's some kind of blocking thing, which I would assume would be the the uh, diode here, which makes it so that the battery doesn't power the motor, obviously, because <laughs> that would be a bad thing. Um, so yeah, very interesting. A little mini power uh, generator for flashlight. Very cool.